Warning, the following contains coarse language and visuals meant for mature audiences. You have been warned. Now that that is out of the way, let us continue. So last time we left off right here, um, we just uh, did what the note on the wall said, and we went right, left, left, right through the repeating maze, and uh, now let us see what is on the other side. And it's called Reversal. And we're Fiona. Welcome to the world of Gender Bend. <laughs> While the difficulty is tougher, more secrets and abilities can be found here. Alright. So now we're playing as Fiona, the uh, fanfic that's made by uh, Ice King in Adventure Time. Now let's go over to. Uh, Whatever the name of the uh, ginger bent Marceline's house is. And it's a dude. Sup, Fiona? Have you seen Cake? Marshall, you didn't kidnap her again, did you? Jeez, I don't know. She might be somewhere, deep inside the cave. So you didn't take her? How will I know you're not lying? I swear to my fangs. All of them. Oh, all four of them. Fangs. Why fangs? I'll starve without them. I eat red with my fangs. But you can't starve to death. You're immortal. Whatever. I'll go look for the cake. Alright. Take care. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be doing practically the same thing we did on the last run through when playing as uh, Finn. Just, uh, there's going to be tougher enemies. And there's also going to be new stuff to pick up at each of the spots we picked up, like swords and abilities and stuff. So, it's going to be a harder version of what we uh, did last time. And I'm... This is going to take me a while. <laughs> Ugh, because it's just spamming. With, okay, there we go. We reached the end. And we got the sword. The blood sword. Alright, and then what are the abilities of the blood sword? Alright, so we can use thunder with just the B button. We can use ice with uh, when we press the B button while we're moving. And we can use fire when pressing the B button while dashing. So then let's just test those out real quick. Alright, so just the B button normally is thunder, so that's like a upward strike. And if we activate it again, we get an upwards and then an downward strike. And then if we move, we uh, throw our sword for the ice attack. And apparently we can throw multiple of our sword at the same time, which is a little odd. And then uh, if we dash, we get fire. Alright, so we're just going to go through here and uh, continue on. Now that we have the blood sword. And I would go in here. However, because I do not have the Patreon version, uh, going in here doesn't really do anything. Only in the Patreon version can you uh, continue on with the uh, I guess the main story when you're playing as Fiona, but you can still go and collect all the collectibles and stuff. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do that. First one we're gonna go for is over here. Alright, so it's just the sentries again. This one is a little bit more difficult. Well, at least it's supposed to be. I believe there's, yeah, there's one in this hallway right here. We're just gonna chill out in this corridor until it passes us again. Alright, and then... Run a little bit shrug. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Alright, and then we're gonna pick up this Triforce which will allow us to pull multiple characters at the same time in the uh, 
little machine that bubblegum's at. Alright, well, I was gonna go in here, but uh, in the uh, in bubblegum's room, there's nothing new other than the uh, upgrade to the machine we just did. So we're gonna go this way. And there shouldn't be any new code to put in. Okay, yep, we don't need to push it anymore. But, oops. There is going to be something for us to do in here. Alright, so I'm pretty sure all we have to do is jump on the last one that was activated. And this rather than needing to jump on each one that was lit up in the proper order. Okay. Okay, yeah, it was this one. I think it's this one? Yep. Alright. So, we finally beat it. That took me way more tries than it uh, definitely should have. I'll probably cut some of those out. And now... We get a quick attack perform. Permanently increase the attack speed of melee attacks. Which is going to be helpful for when we uh, go and flip the switch over there to uh, get another ability where the uh, the button used to be. But before we do that, we're going to go over here. And now that we're back at the intersection, we're going to go into the beach side. And now that we're at the beach side, we're going to just talk to uh, her real quick. I'm not going to read her dialogue. You guys can do that yourself if you uh, so feel inclined to. But pretty much she just says that she's temporarily going to be here to provide potions. And in the next major update, she probably won't be here. But for now, she's just here to conveniently give potions. Alright, so I decided to... Uh, go and do this before we go and collect the uh, the other abilities and swords because this is going to be needed in order to uh, get a certain sword. So hopefully now that we have the increased attack speed we should be able to uh, destroy it now. Because we're going to also not need to just perform a full Fuck me. <laughs> we're not only going to need to perform a full attack, we're also going to need to jump at, the, like, the last uh, attack in our combo. Okay, there we go. We got him. And to prolong our combo. So, now we have the long dash gives you uh, the ability to infinitely dash, which is quite helpful, but it also looks quite silly. <laughs> uh... But now that we have this, we will be able to do many other things. Because now that we have the long dash, we'll also be able to uh, go up here and collect the sword. And now we have a 4D sword. A sword that uses the fourth dimension to teleport the user. Which, I'll show you right now, is quite awesome. But you can either just kind of like fly around like this, or if there's an enemy, we can just, it teleports us straight to the enemy by pressing B, or tapping B, holding B, brings us into this flight mode. Alright, now that we're in here and we have the 4D sword, we're gonna just go into our flight mode, and we're gonna fly up here into this hole that's in the ceiling, and then revert back, and pick this up. And now we get the ability to change sword. So now we can uh, equip two swords onto our hotbar pretty much and just swap between them. Which we're just going to keep the uh, Demon Blood Sword and the 4D Sword on our hotbar. And we can switch between the two with left trigger. And now we're going to go continue on to the beach to uh, fight the monster there and collect a new uh, a new skin for Fiona. Alright, so in here we, uh, we still have the uh, breakfast princess and we can still buy potions for her but we also have the ability to uh, buy something else and a few upgrades we can get double health but unfortunately both of these cost a thousand each and once we get it it is uh, permanent so 
Uh, at the moment, I don't think I have it. Yes. So we'll be right back once I've uh, finished grinding and gained all of the coin that I need, which will be uh, quite a bit. I'll need to get almost 2,000 minus 150. So uh, I'll see you then. Okay. That took me about like 10 minutes to grind in the uh, in like the little hub room back there. Where there's like about six or seven waves of enemies you can destroy. And uh, each time you do it, you get about like 700 uh, coin. So it just took me like three in the change tries to, uh, well, to get the amount of gold I needed to uh, get both the double stamina and the double health. And we're going to use that to uh, make the uh, the boss battle with the um, the serpent extremely easy. And, uh, sadly, when I was, uh, fighting, I accidentally used, uh, one of my potions when I, uh, went to use a, uh, one of the, uh, sword's abilities, I accidentally used a potion, which is a little disappointing. But, I mean, I do have just enough to buy, like, one more <laughs> potion if I really wanted to, which I might as well, uh, in case if accidents happen. Um... But now we're going to go over here, and we're going to uh, fight the serpent again, because it's going to uh, come back to life. But before we can truly get to the serpent, these guys are going to spawn in. And we're going to try to uh, kill them all. Like uh, this one, we're going to try to kill with lightning, because now that we have the sword, we have enough DPS to actually uh, kill it. And now we're going to finish off these two which are quite easy because they don't have, uh, like, a second stage that they go into once you get them down to half health. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to add something like that in, in the full game. He probably will. I'm not completely sure, though. Alright, so now we're over here, and he's coming back to life. And... This, I have uh, usually more trouble with it than the fight with Marceline, uh, which I was able to uh, finish the first try while recording, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to finish this guy. Uh, now that I have both double health and double stamina, uh, health, well, dying should not be a problem. However, uh, the potions, the amount that they heal, do not scale with your max health, so uh, the potions will only heal about a quarter of my health. Alright, so he's entered his second stage. Alright, I can just, like, pretty much hide up here until he decides to, uh, stepping roll, bitch. Um, Maybe I shouldn't be hiding in the corner because it's taking me too long to get to him. And, uh... Alright, well, time to use potions, I guess. Oh, goddammit, I accidentally used a potion. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I, uh... It's not like any of it was wasted. It all of it covered health, so it's all good. Alright, so hopefully... And kill this guy off. I'm pretty close. There we go. Took me way longer than it should have. I lost way more health than I should have. But um, now that we finally defeated him, we can go over here and uh, get the new outfit for uh, for Fiona. And, uh, we are, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like real quick, but we're not going to be wearing it. Uh, it looks like that. Definitely, uh, some pretty ginky shit right there. But we're going to go back to the default. And we're going to, uh, 
go on and continue on our adventure. Alright, so when I said we're going to go continue on on our adventure, I kind of realized that uh, I collected everything needed. Well, at least that's uh, currently available without starting to go for all the achievements and uh, entering a code to uh, unlock a, a sword. So we're going to do that in the next episode. So until then...